Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to learn how to implement server-side and client-side validation in ASP.NET Core MVC application. This is our application. If I click on Add Employee, we get the form to create new employee. This form is handled by Employee Controller and Add Action Method. This is our Add Action Method. This method receives form data. This form data is already mapped to this Employee View model. Now, before inserting data to the database, we want to validate that model data. Today, we are going to understand how to validate this model data. ASP.NET Core MVC provides built-in validation capabilities to help ensure the data entered by user is valid. ASP.NET Core MVC provides data annotation attributes that we apply to our model classes to specify validation rules. This is our employee view model. We are going to apply data annotation attributes to this view model. Let's say I want to make this first name a mandatory field. Then I can apply required attribute. We apply required attribute. We can also specify error message like. We can also apply string length attribute to specify the length of the string. The same goes for last name. I will apply required display and data type attributes to this date of birth field. I will make gender a required field. This email address, I will apply required and email address field and email address attribute. This will make sure that the text is in the form of email. To this phone number field, I'll apply required and phone attribute. I'm going to make this address a required field. Same goes for is active. Thus, we have applied data annotation attributes. In our controller action, we can make sure that the model state is valid before returning, before processing the data. Before inserting data to the database, we can check if the model state is valid. If it is not valid, we are going to return to the form with validation errors. If it is valid, we are going to insert data to the database. In this session, we are not going to insert data to the database. I'll just keep it like this. In this view, we have add employee form. We can display validation errors. I'll show you how to do it. We can use span tag with ASP validation for tag helper. We are binding this to the first name property of employee view model. Whenever there is error message, it, it will be displayed here. We can do the same thing for rest of the fields. Here we have last name. I have copied it and I'll change it to last name. We can modify rest of the fields. Server-side validation is the process of validating user input data on the server after it has been submitted by the client, but before any further processing is performed. Let's verify the fact that we have only server-side validation, but not client-side validation. This is our add action method. When we click on submit, the control will reach here. I'll put breakpoint here. This is our form and we have defined various validation rules like one such rule is none of the field should be empty. But I'll keep all the fields empty and I'll click on submit. Control has reached here. Is the model valid? No, it is not valid. I will click on continue. See, now we are getting validation errors displayed on the screen. If you have noticed, validation has occurred at the server side, not at the client side. If we had client side validation enabled, client itself will check if all the fields are valid. If it is valid, only then the request will reach the server. Client side validation in ASP.NET Core MVC is the process of validating user input on the client's browser using JavaScript before the data is submitted to the server. ASP.NET Core MVC provides built-in support for client side validation. When we use validation attributes on our model properties, the framework generates client side validation rules that work alongside server side validation. To enable client side validation, we should include these JavaScript libraries in our view. Open layout file. I will add these libraries here. I have saved this file and I will run this application again. I will submit this form without filling any data. This time, as we have enabled client side validation, if there are any errors, it sh request should not reach the server. We should get error message as soon as we click on submit button. Let's verify that. Click on submit. See, we have error message displayed on the view. Request did not reach the server. This means our client side validation is working fine. I have filled all the details. Let's verify it again. I'll click on submit. Request has reached the server. Is it valid? Yes, it is valid. 
then if it is valid actually we are going we have to insert data to the database but we are not doing that here we are going to insert data in our next session i'll click on continue so as we don't have any logic the form has returned as it is this is how we can implement client side as well as server side validation in our application i will repeat the same thing for department view model i have applied required attribute i'll save this model this is our r department view I will apply a span tag for this validation error message. Then I will open controller. Inside controllers folder, we have department controller. We have post action method here. I will modify this action method. Please remember, this is not the real way. We are going to, in our next session. We are going to modify this code and we are going to insert data to the database. So don't worry for this line. I will see you this one and we are done with it. That's it for today's session. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.